I think the first and foremost is to do a thorough understanding of the finance processes, perform a deep dive, go in, have a look what's working, what's not working, identify opportunities for streamlining them. That's on the process side. The second one is to make sure that um, you establish your, your service level agreements and KPIs attached to that based on where you want to be and how you will be able to encourage your organization to achieve the goals that you have identified in the first step, i.e. obviously you want to move away from the as-is, achieve a significant leap or a quantum leap and so the KPIs and the service level needs to be aligned with that. And the third is, while you're doing this from a process perspective, you also need to give some thought to reshaping some of the um, uh, positions, who are actually involved, who are the people who are involved in the process, how they are supporting that process, and, and should they maybe be um, uh, doing something else, should they be looking at um, uh, focusing less on the transactional part, more on the value-added part, see what system support can be brought into the process. Um, and once you have those three things aligned, so it is usually the typical things, pre poor process, systems, and the organization structure, so if you have those things aligned, then you you are on the right track on streamlining your finance. The change management aspect of this ultimately is probably the most important piece of this journey. Um, uh, it is going to require a very tight management, it will require a very tight communication plan as well. But these are the soft things around it. But ultimately, what I always say is that it is always easier to do things with people than to two people if you want to make the change sustainable. And at the end of the day, what you're talking about here is a change which we need to make sure that it sticks.